Hey guys, this is Cece here with Flower in the Desert. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video today about my sunflowers that I planted about uh, two months ago. Maybe just a little bit over two months ago uh, here in my garden. They are uh, the mammoth kind, the mammoth sunflowers. And um, yeah, let me show you a little quick the progress. Uh, I think last time you saw them, they were probably very small. Uh, they're getting bigger now and I didn't realize how big this one uh, can actually get so I am glad that I um, separated them and I'll show you really quick where they, they are right now so if you remember um, from my uh, older videos I have all three I used to have all three of them planted here in this small area I have one here this one in the middle and the other one in the corner I um, wait there quickly realized that this was not going to be enough space for all three of them especially when you look and see how big this ones can get so just to give you an idea I'm going to stand by next to it and um, yeah as you can see this is as, almost as tall as me and I'm 5'1 so, and it still has probably a long, more ways to go. Uh, so yeah, they can get pretty big. Again, this is the mammoth type. I'm loving it. Look at this. By the way, I just love, can you see her? There she goes. Yes. Um, I was worried because I had noticed before a bunch of ants and other insects on this plant. And I, you know, I keep it like, trying to get them um, spray them with the hose and i seen some aphids here but um i think she's taking care of that right now so yay uh so yes i planted them all at the same time here but when i realized that they were too big for this area i had to take two of them and replant and you know move them to a different area so i moved one here it's this one and the other one I put it right here it's getting finally getting a little better bigger now uh, you can see the difference in size though that's the original one that never taught I never touched that's another one that I moved and this one's still very small but it's growing this one was already a smaller to begin with it's the, it took a little longer to germinate anyway than the other two but when I moved them from their original place uh, they did go into shock both of them and I didn't think they were gonna make it but um, you know they did so uh, I'm glad that I they were able to be moved and survive actually and make it through so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah that's a quick thing about this mammoth sunflower that I wanted to show you guys um, look how big and if you, uh, you know, compare this to the wall, I believe this is a six foot, yeah, it is six feet tall wall. And that's how tall the uh, sunflower st stock is right now. So the stump. So, um, yeah, be prepared if you're thinking about doing this kind of sunflowers uh, with the space that you need so that you, um, you know, can calculate uh, the distance in between that you're gonna need okay so that's one of the things I wanted to show you really quick and then this is nothing to do with um, food I guess but um, I did want to show you really quick what I do for my hibiscus I love hibiscus because I just love the color of the flowers and I have a few here in my uh, garden actually so if you can see I have one here with this beautiful orange color flower and this one is actually in the ground I also have more here and this ones I actually got from a friend that moved out of state I think I mentioned she gave me other plants before but yeah this is another orange this is more brighter orange one and but wait there's more <laughs> yeah I have several ones and here in my side yard too uh, this one is not flowering at this moment but it's pretty big 
potting soil. Make sure they always have enough water. I even have some uh, little of this um, flowers around it that I cannot, vincas, that's the name of it. When I got this one from my friend, it was almost dead, but it's coming back. So I'm hoping to see some flowers soon. I probably need to take, get rid of this here. I have this ones here. And then I want to show you a couple more really quick. So what I do for them is, um, you know, potting soil, like I mentioned, make sure they get good enough water and um, the amount of sun. The amount of sun that they need. Okay, one, few more. Another orange one. I know. I know all of them are orange, aren't they? And look how good this one. I've got flowers coming. You know. Oh, this one I need to take care of a little bit better because you can see lots of uh, little weeds growing. But um, I do feed these plants with a flower. Um, you know, the natural miracle grow uh, feeding for these flowers. Here, this one actually looks, look how big this one is getting. And it has flowers there too. This actually is a red flower. Oh, you can see it right there. Um, I'm planning on putting this one in the ground, but not right now. I'll tell you more about that in another video. But um, once it eventually goes on the ground, I think it will be great. Because right now, I can totally tell that this is getting way too big for the little small container. So I think this will look even more beautiful once it's on the ground. Look how tall it's getting. But yeah, I have six of them and I just love the colors and the variety that they have. And just adds so much more color to your garden. Um, so I, you know, I choose vincas usually for my garden, vincas, uh, hibiscus and lantanas. Let me show you really quick the few antennas I have here in my backyard. Um, they're not that many, but they're beautiful and they just bring so much more color to um, and attract bees. Um, that's a big thing to hummingbirds, bees, wasps, uh, which has been uh, essential for uh, my, my plants, my gardening, my fruit trees right now. So I'm very happy with the, uh, with the, uh, the selection of flowers I have. I think they are doing their job um, you know uh, attracting pollinators uh, these are my lantanas I recently trimmed them so they're finally starting to flower here this one's a very nice uh, bright pink color and here ones are orange with some yellow and red so all these colors are great see so this is something to think about too you know i think all the plants that i've been talking about here the hibiscus the lantanas the sunflowers all those very bright color plants are great for you to be able to get attract pollinators into your uh, garden it also it looks beautiful here are some of the yellow ones that are coming out right now um and this is one of my favorites right now maybe because i don't know i like pink but look at how pretty more this ones are more of a light pink pink with yellow too so yeah i'm super excited and happy that i made this decision to actually plant this um flowers around my garden and i know once i get to um those sunflowers go to, go to you know grow to full size i know there will be beautiful and I'm sure it will attract more pollinators another reason um, I wanted to mention really quick with the sunflowers the reason why I put them on this side of the yard and not where the pool is is because in the summer we tend to have you know the pool is a source of water too for bees and wasps and sometimes we're in the pool and yes we get some especially wasps flying around us and don't really like that so um, my hope is if I get my um, 
put big flowers over here too, the, the sunflowers. We'll be going over there. I might even put a little bit of like a bird bath or something, some water, so that they don't have to go into the pool. They can just stay there and enjoy, you know, that, that area over there instead of my pool area. So, yeah, look at the colors. I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to make this video too long, but yeah, you see the bright colors. I just love it. And I can't wait to see those sunflowers. All right, guys, I'm gonna make a shot. I gotta go before the storm comes um, and gets me. You probably see the sun on this side, but if you look that way, there's a big storm coming. So, um, I'm gonna make a short, but yes, if you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna show you more things. Um, I have a lot of plans and a lot of um, new things coming up to my channel as I am developing this um, YouTube channel that I've been working on for a few months now. And I will see you guys on my next video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.